Hey, what's going on guys? This is Makai, and I just saw a gameplay of Super Saiyan 3 Goku fighting against Vegeta, you know, the giant Vegeta, and he tries to do the Dragon Fist ultimate that he did in BT3, but yet it doesn't connect. Now in BT3, you're unable to do Rush ultimates against the giants, but Certain characters such as Goku Super Saiyan 3, I think there were a few, were actually able to connect this ultimate with giants. What's peculiar about this circumstance is, is that it doesn't seem like Super Saiyan 3 Goku has that special quality anymore. And for that matter, we can also assume the other characters who might have also had this capability no longer has it so then it becomes the question of are there other things in dragon ball spark and zero that they changed that we should probably discuss now i would love to talk about more stuff pertaining to dragon ball spark and zero but it seems every time i open my mouth i'm just endlessly hating on this game I give you guys constructive criticism, it's called hate, I point something out, it's called hate, and I'm sure this is somehow going to be called hate, even though someone showed the actual gameplay, pointed it out, and they posted it on Twitter. This isn't no rage bait, I want you to get mad, this isn't no clickbait, I'm lying to you guys, it's just simply me pointing something out because someone on twitter pointed something out but it doesn't stop there because bandai namco had released a gameplay yesterday and it was at the bandai summer showcase people were kind of mixed if not thinking the showcase was mid because nothing of important value came out but a few pieces of information did come out that i wanted to go over the first bit was is that the producer has clarified once more that if you have the skill, a character like Hercule can beat a top tier character, say, what was it, Whis or Beerus, they said? Of course not. Uh, this is a battle game, so every character has a chance to win. A chance. Videl kicking your butt here right now. <laughs> Although they may have different stats, they can use all they can all use common actions such as combo attacks, dodging with high speed movement, and counters. By improving your player skill, you can even beat Beerus with Satan. Now if that is the case, then that coincides or goes along with the statement of them saying that this game wasn't a pure casual experience. This was a game that it will take skill to beat people. They have a training mode, and they have battle assists. I wonder why. It may not be an easy game just to pick up and beat oh so casually. And the other thing that we saw was we saw a roadmap of all the places that they're going to have the demo place. Now, before anyone starts fear-mongering saying, oh no, we're not going to be able to play the demo, they're not going to put it on consoles or anything, right? One of the reasons why they'll typically do this, and you have to also consider they have it for times after the game releases, is because they want to maximize the amount of people who get a chance to play it before they buy it. And yeah, you could also get it on the console demo, which probably would make sense, but that doesn't mean that we won't get say a closed beta one thing that they have to make sure is that the online is great and it would be interesting if they gave the gundam game a network test but they didn't give sparking zero a network test i still believe we will get a network test closer to the release of the game and that will honestly be probably the best and only way that most people can try out the game if you don't live anywhere near the places they have on that map in the time frame. Now probably the biggest one of them all that we got from this event, besides the whole Hercule bit with the gameplay with Tell and Whis, everyone getting beat by Hercule, was that we got a gameplay of Ultra Instinct Sign Goku and Goku Black Rose. I think for the most part this gameplay looked very great. It looked cool. I liked seeing Goku Black doing his thing, but 
One thing I noticed was is that Goku Ultra Instinct Sign didn't have his trademark dodging capabilities that we've seen in, say, other games like, I don't know, Xenoverse 2. And yeah, I know it's not exactly a full-fledged thing in Fighters, but I feel like it would have been dope if, say, you were guarding, you were doing that, but it was like draining like here, like another bar. Because they emphasize that certain characters are going to be powerful, and I would like to have seen more of that. But you know what? Someone's going to start prattling in the comment section telling me I'm hating, and then they're going to start spurging for some annoying reason just because I said that. Now, needless to say, I am still excited for Sparking Zero. My hype has not changed for this game, but it seems as though unless I'm going to go the Dragon Ball Power Rangers route and be overly positive about this game, people are going to constantly come in the comment section and say the same shit. So I have a zero tolerance policy now. If you come into the comment section and you say some dumb shit, that had nothing to do with the video and or you try to say something that I didn't say or do I'm just getting rid of you I don't have time for it and it's starting to get corny like come on yo like y'all hate disagreement y'all hate being treated differently but then you treat other people differently off of an opinion don't you find that insane Person likes blue, everyone else likes red. You want to pick on them and say, yo, what's wrong with you for liking blue? That person has a terrible opinion, terrible take. Why do you like blue? And no, it's a dumb comparison, but it's very immature to point out how most people are. It's kind of like that episode in Fairy Odd Parents where Timmy had wished everybody looked the same, but they found something to point out that he was different, and then they tried to mob attack him because he was different. Needless to say, I'm not going to have the same opinion as a lot of the other Dragon Ball creators. More so, I'm not afraid to share a difference of opinion. And if anyone's like, yo, he's, he's just doing this for stuff, I've been making videos like this since before the channel got to a thousand i covered videos such as the one on the voice actor of naruto when they were going in like a whole controversy with this whole ai thing and other things of that nature prior no one had a problem with me making videos on stuff like that and pointing things out and using air quote sensational titles but let it be something like sparking zero and you have a load of different people that you can watch for the game, but now you suddenly got a freaking problem. So needless to say, if you have a problem, just don't watch the videos. If you're cool, continue watching the videos. No one's hating, no one's freaking spurging. It's just me critiquing, giving you guys news, updates. As always, when the game comes out, I'm going to make it a goal not to talk about this game news-wise because I realized half these people are going to play the game and then they're going to be like, oh shit, Makai posted this video, oh snap, that's fire, versus, oh, Makai's talking about this, I'm, I'm not going to be talking news about this game when it comes out. So, just want y'all to know that. So, we got another three months of this unnecessary potential arc of people complaining, and then let the games begin.